congratulations to GSP. Um, he looks good. Um, he looked good in the in the fight tonight. He did well against Carlos Condit. Uh, you know, even though it was another uh, boring fight, um, I'm just not a, f a big fan of um, GSP. You know, um, I mean, as for a person, I like the guy. He's humble guy. You know, he's real respectful. You know, he's not really doing any uh, these crazy things that other fighters doing inside or outside of the ring. So I give him all props for that. But just style-wise, the guy is just, he's not an exciting fighter to me. But um, congratulations. hes I see that he's recovered well from his injury. He beat a good fighter tonight, Carlos Condit. Okay, now let's get to what everybody else is thinking about and talking about and rumors about and Dana White was talking about. It's not going to happen. Okay, I haven't, I haven't watched the post-fight interview press conference that the UFC have after every main event, after every fight card. I didn't watch that. I missed it. And I haven't seen it, so I'm, I'm not sure if it's um, the fight has been set up and um, maybe GSP has agreed to it. You know, I don't know. But I'm telling you, that I don't think this fight is going to happen. It's not going to happen. GSP do not want to fight Anderson Silva. And it doesn't mean that GSP is a coward. It doesn't mean that. And I hope people stop saying that. Just like, it, I, you know, Anderson Silva is not a coward for not wanting to fight John Jones and go up to 205. Those guys don't want to go up and wait. Period. GSP see no reason why would he go up and wait in his career to fight a, a bigger, heavier fighter that's way more skilled than he is. It just doesn't make any sense for GSP to fight Anderson Silva, you know. Now, you can look at it, you know, um, Anderson Silva fighting John Jones. Now, even though I'm all, you know, respect a fighter's decision or whatever, and if Anderson Silva don't want to go up to 205, fine. fine. Because Anderson Silva could have went up to 205 in 2006 and 2007 when Chuck Liddell was champion and when Rampage Jackson was champion and he could have beat those guys you know um, especially Rampage since he's so one dimensional um, but he decided not to not you know he could have held at a period moment in time a window Anderson Silva had a window to hold two belts in the UFC he could have held the middleweight belt and the light heavyweight belt. But he decided not to. And those fights he could have. I'm telling you. Those fighters. He could have beat at 205. And he probably would have fought. Maybe one fight. Before he would have fought for the championship. At 205. But the reason why he don't want to fight at 205. Is because number one. Mashida, And number two. He don't. He do not like fighting at that weight. You know. The only time he fought those few times at 205 is because of a favor to Dana White and a favor to um, the UFC, you know. Um, the I just don't see, you know, I can see Anderson Silva versus John Jones making sense, but I don't see GSP versus Anderson Silva really making any sense to me. I really don't want to see it either. I mean, look at look at this way. It's a I'm a big Anderson Silva fan, right? And you know it's a it's a <clears throat> excuse me it's a lose lose situation because if he beats GSP, well people say well you beating a smarter a smaller fighter a guy to fight at 170 and he's coming off an injury that's that's what it's gonna be you know if he if he beat GSP now if by some um, way that GSP beats Anderson Silva. You know, what people will say, well, you got beat by a smaller fighter or whatever, you know, a smaller fighter that's not as good in his stand up, you know, so I, I just really don't see the benefit of, of, of really fighting um, GSP besides the money. You know, I have a lot of respect for Anderson Silva. I think he's the best fighter of his generation. I think he probably should be called one of the greatest of all time. I don't think he will. At the end of the day, I think when Anderson Silva retire, I think he will be called the greatest 
for that moment after he retired. But I think when it's all said and done, John Jones probably is going to go down as one of the greatest of all time once John Jones retired. Because John Jones is only what still in his 20s. And he's still um, got a lot of fights to go. And he's going to still be destroying guys. And we still don't know what the guy's going to do once he gain, gains weight. He might go up to um, to heavyweight. But, you know, you know, I just don't see it happening. I don't want to see it happen. You know, I want to see Anderson Silva fight um, Weidman, you know. Maybe not Whiteman. I think Whiteman need to get a little a few more fights under his belt. I'm not sold on people being so psyched about Whiteman. You know, people um, pumped up Mark Munoz or whatever. Tell me he was ranked number three. Well, in my book, Mark Munoz is not ranked number three as a middleweight. I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to MMA rankings or whatever. And I don't see how um, Mark Munoz was ranked number three in the middleweight division. That's crazy to me. Um, Mark Munoz is, is just not, you know, that good of a of a guy. He's more of a mid-level type guy. Maybe not even a mid-level type guy. I would like to see Whiteman uh, fight a few more other fighters before you get to that. But I re- really wouldn't mind him seeing Anderson Silva fight Michael Bisbing. I don't see Bisbing winning winning that fight. But um, hey, give Bisbing his chance. He's been fighting at 185 forever give the guy's chance already you know and with the fight that I think that would be a great fight and um Rashad Evans have talked about it even Anderson Silva has hinted at it as uh, as you know maybe it could happen you know let Rashad Evans drop down he said the only reason he had dropped down is to fight Anderson Silva so what you know if you can let Chael Sonnen fight zero contenders at 205 and fight exactly and fight for a championship at 205 you can let Rashad Evans drop down to 185 for a title shot against Anderson Silva that's a fight I want to see you know that's a, you know um, a, a, a good wrestler that you know a guy is a great wrestler very athletic and his hands are are better than um Chell Sonnen so I would like to see that fight. Um, congratulations! Congratulations is in order for GSP. Um, what's next for him? I don't know, but I'm sure don't in hell don't want to see him fight Anderson Silva. I really don't, you know. And I think, in my opinion, I think Anderson Silva would beat GSP. But so what, you know? It would make a lot of money, but I just don't want to see it. Um, that's my video. If you like my video, keep coming back. I will be making more. Peace.